Hello again. The cold weather persists, if anything, turning a little colder over the next couple of days. And we still have in place snow and ice warnings across the UK. Met Office, yellow warnings in situ. Make sure you check the app or the website for the latest details on those. But let's uh, look at the bigger picture. We've got a couple of bands here on the satellites and radar image tracking southwards. Both weather fronts, both providing a mixture of sleet and snow. This one slowly creeping into northern England and north Wales to ease off as it does so. And the intensity is crucial as to whether we see sleet or snow at low levels, certainly snow over any hills, but at low levels, it's more of a wintry mix of sleet and snow. Snow showers continuing to come in on that other band across northern Scotland. But for much of the south, it's a dry day. Some places seeing plenty of sunshine, but it's quite foggy over the West Midlands into parts of Wales. And where that fog persists, well, temperatures really struggling to get even close to freezing. Elsewhere, we'll see highs generally in the low single digits, maybe five or six with a bit of brightness in the southwest. But um, we continue with the wintry weather through the evening and as temperatures start to fall, well, ice is going to become a big uh, risk. Northern Ireland, parts of Northern England, Wales, down into the southwest as well. We start to see some showers coming in here and snow continuing to come in across northeast Scotland, especially that snow really building up here on some of the higher routes. We will continue to see some snow over Northern England, parts of uh, North Wales and the Midlands too. So that's uh, an extra hazard. But I say ice is a big concern, particularly for the morning. Temperatures dropping down below freezing, even in major towns and cities. We could see temperatures down to negative double digits again across the highlands of Scotland as the air here turns even colder. So the details for Friday, it's a cloudy day for much of England and Wales and there will be that mixture of sleet and snow, even down to low level snow across the Midlands, Wales and northeast England, although on the coast here it will chiefly be rain, could get quite windy as well. The snow showers easing in the north of Scotland by the end of the day, plenty of sunshine for western Scotland and Northern Ireland too, uh, but it's still going to feel cold, especially as the wind starts to pick up down parts of the east coast of England, northeast Scotland through Friday. Temperatures, again, single figures, low single figures at best and feeling colder uh, than that. But as I say, we should see a bit more sunshine for Northern Ireland, which could see highs of uh, three or four degrees Celsius. Through Friday evening, again, as temperatures fall, again, the potential for things to turn quite icy in places with uh, further snow flurries likely, especially on some of the high routes, the M62, for example, as we go into the weekend. But um, also through the weekend, there are some weather fronts up to the northwest that will bring some wet weather here. But for many, high pressure moving in this weekend, so it's staying on the cold side. But many places will be dry. As I said at the start, keep up to date with the latest weather warnings. Best way to do that, of course, follow us on social media, check the app or the website.